Next up, we have a special song written by Michael Friedman, performed here by Dito Van Rijgersbert, and uh, with Nathan Dame on the piano. This song was inspired by Sidney H., of who Dr. Henry says, his head is supported by a sturdy neck, but his face reveals a dignity and reserve, sensitiveness, and intellectual capacity above the average. Sidney has a certain fawn-like quality which endears him to all of his lovers. My childhood was normal, except I wet the bed until I was 12. My brother hated me, I shared the bed with him, but my mother didn't mind. I had erections as a child, my uncle would take me to the doctor. He used to touch me to find out if I would have an erection. I was nervous, frightened at night, frightened by the dark. My imagination took flight in the dark. Spirits, deities, devils, I used to weep at the hymns in church and national anthems. I wanted to know about sex, observing and peeping the sex acts of animals, sex acts of dogs, deaths of pigeons and cats. On Halloween, I dressed in girls' clothes and enjoyed it. I've always been interested in the penis, especially a large one. When I was 11, a boy masturbated on me. When I was 13, I met an Armenian. He performed fellatio. Then mother interrupted us. I don't think she noticed. Another time in college, I was in the theater and an Armenian pearl merchant put his hand on my leg. I went back to his hotel instead of seeing the rest of the show. As a junior, I was engaged to a girl. I would have married her. I would have been happy, but she married someone else. I was having sex that summer every day with a girl from Texas. She married another man after divorcing her first husband. She wouldn't have sex, but she enjoyed the erection. During the war, a captain in the army took me up, gave me flowers, and looked after me. He took me here and there, and the sex was so intense, I thought I'd die of love. I met a homosexual older than me, and a dominating woman through the Two people, I came into the world of homosexual people. As time went on, I became perverted in my taste. Most sex with people is dull now. I prefer to masturbate. I like exposure in public places. Fantastic intercourse or sexual relations with a woman while I'm wearing an evening dress. I prefer a buxom woman, not boyish. Young boys don't interest me sexually. Innocence and experience don't interest me much. I like muscles on men and women. And mass sex in a Turkish bath. Or a friend who had two men screw her for two nights. She slept part of the time, but not much. With friends of mine, I've arranged sexual performances with a cat. And dog, I've seen humans try to have relations with animals, but it was absurd. Cross eyes are exciting, or a woman on a rack being tortured, hands bound, and strangers are observing. I've had this dream over and over and over. I'm proud of my life, except I would like to have worked harder and played less. For a number of years, my wish has been to divorce sex from the rest of my life. Five years ago, I gave away my tails, top hat, and morning coat. I'm completely bohemian. I'm pretty dirty. I sleep on the floor with 
just a mat. I have no winter employment. I wish I could get a $15 a week job for the 